So that death battle that I told you guys, like I I I wanted Android 18 to win, but I knew she wasn't gonna win. Well, she won, and I was fucking shocked. I I thought she had no chance in the hell of winning, but she fucking pulled it off. Good, congratulations to her, bro. But um, Seth the programmer shortly after they dropped like on the same fucking day, they said Android 18 versus Captain Marvel debunked. I'm like, huh? What? Like, for real? I, th I thought y'all would be happy. But we, we just finna get to this bitch. It's your boy Rex Guy, Dragon Squad, bitch! Like I said, let's get to this bitch, nigga! Get hype! So, like, no, but, uh, yeah, let's get to this. Got my ear tools on, spectacles. Let's run this bitch. Let's get it. Where is it? Where is it at? Here we go. Chuck the cyber cook. Chuck the cyber cock. Stupid ass. Let's go. Android 18, the powerful cyborg that can survive building level attacks. Can she truly win against the blonde alcoholic who can survive attacks that can destroy cliff sides? I'm Perry the programming pussy, and today I have my good <laughs> friend is funny, Chuck bro. the cyber cock. Damn. This debunk. So, um, all right, guys. Before we get the started with this debunk, I would like to oh, mention a thing. Like, I don't know if many of you guys like know this stuff because you guys are stupid or because you guys don't know about Dragon Ball. Oh, but the because music. of the way that Ben and Chad, like, said it in such a way that's really manipulative. Like, they said it in a way that's like, oh, hey, like, we're like, we're the fucking authority. Like, we're we're the fucking quote unquote, quote -unquote power scaling experts. So you need to fucking listen to what we say, right? I don't know if you guys caught on to this, but so for example, they said something that for even geekdom or Kwame would be like, okay, hold on, there's a little mistake here, okay? <laughs> and, you know, Kwame and geekdom, you know, they're not power scalers, you know, like they're more like Dremble Z Lord like type of guys. Android 18 and 17 absorption models. Yeah, right? yeah. Seth and I were like, more concerned with like, okay, can Dick Wrinkle Jr. fucking, he can fucking punch with the force of 37 down and Zetatons, right? Whatever. Quaman and Geekdom will be like, okay, fucking Dick Wrinkle Jr. was born in the year 19 fucking 37. Where the fuck or what, right? Whatever. <laughs> Dick Wrinkle Jr. But, <laughs> but this is not power scaling. This is like actual like character information. It is never stated or implied that 17 or 18 can absorb energy like the way 19 or 20 can. And I don't know about you guys, but it's kind of fucking yeah. obvious that they don't have a fucking red zit on their hands. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty apparent. Like they they use Xenoverse 2 to like indicate that they could possibly can absorb energy and it's like yeah that was uh, stupid excuse me <laughs> and that, like that's in xenoverse 2 okay for one super boo can also absorb energy in that game which is as we know he doesn't he actually just absorbs your entire body to take your energy there's mm -hmm. like scenes where like uh goku versus frieza goku took energy from like the entire galaxy he can and do that threw it at frieza and then frieza like was like unfazed by it so it's like if you take xenoverse like the characters are a lot fucking stronger there's definitely inconsistencies with the lore and stuff in xenoverse so it's not it's i'm surprised that you're okay with using xenoverse 2 but not the fucking anime <laughs> anime filler but we'll get into more detail about that in a bit no you know it's funny though like like they're using video games right for android 18 whatever but they didn't use the fucking guides for goku yeah you can't, yeah, you like, can't come use on, the, the guides but you can use xenoverse 2 like okay, they, okay they, they, they just choose what okay, they want to take actually like the proof for this is the fucking manga itself so essentially like if we look at one of the chapters you know when android 17 is talking to Jiro. Like, he basically goes over to, like, 19, and he says, So you caused another of us to die, did you? And you talked him into turning you into an android. What type of, What type was he? An energy absorption model. Exactly. And says, yeah. well, yes. And Android 18 says, Why do you go back to your old energy? Because we infinite energy models were too powerful to control. So right here is basically implied that they, they don't. They and, can't you know, absorb energy. They're completely different from 19 and 20. I mean, yeah. it's, I mean, as I, as I said, it's pretty fucking obvious because... Two of them have fucking red zits on their hands. Well, the whole the, other ones don't. the whole point of the energy absorption models is that they can't charge up their own key. Uh, however, the infinite android models, like 17 and 18, they just have infinite key, so they don't actually need to drain it from anybody. Because what would they drain? Like extra energy onto their infinite reserve? There'd be no point. Yeah. We've also never seen him drain energy or even attempt to in any situation, like when Android 17 was like cornered by the hell zone grenade instead of absorbing it all he just fucking made a barrier to block it 
or when he fought, you know, in Perfect Cell, he didn't just try to absorb his energy when he had his hands on him. The yeah. only time we've ever seen them absorb energy was in GT, but in GT, if you look at it, they have the red fucking zits on their yep. hand again. Like, so it's pretty clear, like, they cannot absorb energy, and in Dragon Ball Super, we can see no uh, indication of that either, so... That is definitely not a strong point. I know they exactly. said possibly can absorb energy and didn't really use it as a main point, but it's still like uh, they, they, they they use it in a battle. Yeah. So they use it in a battle. They're doing the variant. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys, I'm just say this exactly. I'm just saying. You know, I'm not claiming it's a fact. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Let's talk about some things they said about Android 18. Okay, so for one, they went on they went on this tangent about Android 18's power and it was really it was really awkward and they were like kind of like pussyfooting around the idea of her power for some reason like, they were for example they're like Android 18 has the power to launch you into a freaking cliff and create explosions with her hands it's like oh okay yeah, it's really. like oh she can even tank attacks from Super Saiyan Vegeta the being who can obliterate entire buildings without a scratch and it's like, Ooh, it's what? like, uh, <laughs> right? It's, you think like, this is funny, it's kind bro. of like lowballing in a really weird way. It's like, for example, what if we just argue? Because we won. Goku, <laughs> the being who can run faster than a cheetah and can take punches from a trained boxer. It's like, you're not wrong, but it's just really weird. Like, why are you <laughs> lowballing to such a degree? Like, are you that intimidated? I don't understand. And then they say, well, maybe she could possibly destroy a continent or even a planet. Yeah, and it's that. just, how many times do we have to go over this? Like, Dragon Ball characters have been planetary since the Saiyan saga. I don't know where the fuck anyone's been. Yeah. And if anything, if Vegeta is the bare minimum of the Planet Buster, which he's not, there's beings below that which have been confirmed planetary by feats, like Piccolo Vaporizing the Moon. And you can feel the shockwaves on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> if Vegeta is confirmed planetary and everything, even even the anime filler, which, you know, they used, they actually used a, a frame of anime filler to determine that Goku was planetary in the fucking Goku versus Superman one death battle, which they cited in this video, so they still consider it part of their uh, canon, I guess. So if they're willing to use that, then why don't they use Vegeta blowing up a planet and a moon with two fingers? Yeah, and shit he, like he, that, he, he and then do that shit, times though. fifty. Wouldn't that be bare minimum times fifty planetary? I don't. I just don't understand. Large planet, small star level range. Nah, I, that's too much. I just. I really don't get it. And then there was another scene where they. <laughs> I don't know if this was like, an, I don't know if you consider the choreography of the fights like actually how they think of the characters. No. But there's a scene where, random rocks, like not rocks <laughs> like the size. Like smaller than 18. They head, just, they the just, size, they just like, do that as falling at like gravitational speed, and like comedic. they were like knocking Android 18 out, <laughs> just like random rocks falling out of the sky. <laughs> the like, hey, hurt. I'm like, did they, did they just take Krillin throwing a rock at Super Saiyan Goku like literally? <laughs> like, is that no? Is hold, on, hold on, no, 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 hold on. No, it's, it's a thing though. Like Freeza's rock level, right? I mean, it's not like Freeza, Freeza, rock game, level. Like, Weak the ass. That fucking cut Freeza in half. No, no, he's rock level. <laughs> the fucking rock <laughs> level, building obliteration with Wank. <laughs> so, um, I mean, if you guys want to know what we think about their destructive capabilities, we know for a fact that Android 18's like at least dwarf star, like bare minimum, like hundreds of times, because you know. I hate repeating this in every fucking vid that requires Android level characters, but we gotta do it. All right, first form Frieza, obliterated planet planet Vegeta, like tens of times greater than Earth in mass and complete obliteration. It was ten of tons of force. It was calced at low dwarf star level. Okay, hundreds of times later for power scaling for Frieza, he'd be in the star ranges, and you know Android 18 absolutely dicked on Trunks who cut that motherfucker into yeah. pieces. Okay. So it's very clear that Android 18 is more in the star ranges, and then we know, you know, Super Perfect Cell is concerned with Solar System Buster, and he gets a lot of his powers from the androids he absorbed. Essentially, with Android 18, like, at a bare minimum, she's star level, and you could say possibly she could be at Solar System level now, you know, because, I mean, she did some training or whatever after the Boo Saga. And we know that 17 got hella fucking strong despite training, you know, for 15 years or whatever. He's like, it would have matched, I guess, press for Saint Blue Goku or whatever. Can I just mention something real quick? I don't mean to interrupt you, but they actually argued that Android 18 was, like, capable of kicking away Super Saiyan Blue Goku's Kamehameha. 
They didn't say he's suppressed. I hope they were implying he's suppressed. But if hey, they, they weren't, weren't. They weren't. And Android 18 could kick away a Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha. Then why the fuck were rocks making her flinch? It was it, it, that was that was just as a Are joke. They, that, they just they just do that shit to be you know <laughs> funny. I really don't want to get into that. They, they, they always throw oh, comedy in oh, it, so no. that's okay, that's that's the reason. Uh, with uh, Captain Marvel, they they kind of lowballed her to be honest. So basically, they're trying to imply that her uh, her basically her bestie was like Mach what, 250 or something, right? Yeah, she which is not too. even close to the speed of light. It's not even close to superlativistic. It's not even lightning. Yeah, it's not even fucking close. Yep. Even though she has some feats that imply that she's, like, at the very least, like, relativistic, you know, like, light speed. You could say, potentially, that a high-balled Captain Marvel could defeat Android 18. Yeah, because, Captain uh, Marvel. Like, her best showings in her was binary Logan? form what the fuck? Um, imply that... Uh, She's basically able to like uh, keep up with the sentry somewhat, and uh, also she also tanks some hits from Thanos, who in Thanos is fucking hella strong. But Thanos was weakened though. But you know, you could argue she's potentially like you know, source system level, and she could potentially be like a low ball Android 18, you know, eyeballing like uh, she could be solar system level. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, they just heavily like downplayed her speed, right? Like in Android 18, of course, you know, we know she's easily faster than light, but apparently she's only like what fucking she's 16 thousand. She's like miles an hour. Or she's some 50, shit. 50 percent faster than lightning. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go. Oh, speaking of, uh, you want to go over Kid Goku really quick? Yeah. Okay. So, like I said before, they use uh, anime filler to justify lowballing Goku numerous times, actually, in their Goku vs. Superman one death battle, which they cited in this video. They still consider it valid. Um, is that Goku in original Dragon Ball, and of course, <laughs> nobody that doesn't watch Dragon Ball wouldn't know this, but Goku was trained to be faster than lightning as a fucking midget, as a crotch spawn. He was literally... <laughs> he had a crown on. He had to put a crown on for Kami. Uh, it was part of Mr. Popo's training and Kami's training. He put a crown on and had to stand on, like, this, uh, pla uh, this plateau, and he got struck by lightning repeatedly until he learned how to be faster than it and dodge it. Mr. Popo even stated, yes, you need to be faster than lightning and calm of mind. And stuff like that in the manga, let alone filler. And then we know, you know, Piccolo just later on obliterated the moon in four seconds. But who, who the fucking needs that, right? We just, we just need, we just need random bomb frames. Yeah, exactly. A random anime filler scene that was blurred out intentionally. But anyway, judging by that, Kid Goku is at bare minimum the speed of lightning, which is two hundred and twenty thousand miles per hour, bare minimum. Um, and then, as we know, is that Goku as an adult got blitzed by Vegeta. You know, multiply Vegeta by 50, he'd be faster than 340,000 miles per hour. I mean, we don't really need to get into the specifics of how fast they, they are. It's just, you just need to know that these calculations are horrendously wrong. I don't know if you want to calculate her speed in entirely, but she's at least faster than the speed of light, bare minimum. Because, yeah. you know, Piccolo, Goku, uh, cross Namek in an instant, which would be 1 14th the speed of light. And then you multiply that by 50, that bare minimum would be the speed of light. There's just so many different instances that you can calculate to be the speed of light. It's just really awkward to say they're lightning speed, especially when there was a, literally an entire episode dedicated to Goku dodging lightning as a fucking kid, let alone as, in Dragon Ball Z later on as a fucking Super Saiyan. So, yeah, that, that calculation just does not make sense. No, the boulder shit, I don't know why they kept going on about building level attacks. I don't know if they were just scared to power scale. Or what, what do you think the reasoning for the building level shit was? It just seemed really... I don't know what the fucking point of that was. Okay, like, you can tell they're pretty unsure about what they're saying because, like, they even, uh, you know... They said can, possibly can a lot. Thing. Yeah, they, like, they, they say possibly. Sure. They say yeah. uh, probably, you know, like, like they're really unsure. You know, they're kind of like, you know, you said pussyfooting around it. They're doing, like, yeah. the le little leafy tactic, you know? <laughs> the leafy tactics. <laughs> I go, I'm, I'm not saying he has fucked up teeth, but, I mean, look at his fucked up teeth. <laughs> 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 Okay. <laughs> that caught me off guard, but... Mm -hmm. um, so as a closing note... Um... I want to say that the ending was sick. I do think... Yeah, yeah. yeah Android yeah, 18 yeah. curb stomping Captain uh, Marvel was uh, badass. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> Captain Marvel, like, full power, full wank, you know, solar system would probably overpower 18. However, oh, like, problem. the battle itself was cool, other than the fucking random rocks knocking 18 out like okay, <laughs> okay, okay, like, okay like super saiyan goku versus frieza anybody like he got fucking pegged by a barrage of rocks i mean it doesn't matter what the outcome was i mean like like i'd rather have like a battle you know where the dbz character doesn't win but they actually you know fucking scaling you know they use the data book statements you know fucking beats whatever instead of them like bullshitting and nitpicking for both sides that's just fucking stupid 
Yeah, they. The entire battle was just pussyfooting. This is really. Let's be honest. Like no, nobody won here. <laughs> it was kind of like Shadow versus Vegeta. Anyways, um, yeah, it, it, it is kind of hard to like say who would win. Like if you use like their mid, like their mid end feats, you know, because like Captain Marvel is you know basically stated and she's implied to have like star levels of um potency, uh, you know, binary form, and then we know 18 through scaling, uh, in feats should be star level as well. So they could have, you know, similar to start to capability and durability. Yeah. However, Android 18 would easily have the, like, uh, higher speed speed. We actually see us in the fight. We actually see her, like, speed blitzing the fuck out of her for the majority of the fight. Yeah. Android yeah. 18 probably yeah. does actually have more speed feats than Captain Marvel. That, yeah, I don't agree with that. Cool. Although, like Chuck said, like, they probably have equal around power in, like, binary versus 18. Uh, base to base, Android 18 shit stomps. That's honestly a fact. Uh, although, you could argue, like, hypothetical, like, Fully fucking amped, jacked yeah. off Captain Marvel could actually. That's 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 what I think she was gonna do. Full power, if she could hit her. Full binary and fuck her last guys, up. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Be sure to subscribe to my boy Cucks your fuckster, uh, Chuck the Cyber Fuck, um, and <laughs> you think subscribe binary, to me. Bro. Next time on Death Battle. Yeah, you are X D E E. They be, they, they be slamming their ass, no homo. Like Ben and, you know, fucking uh, dick ass said it oh, in such shit. a way that I can't hit that dick ass. <laughs> they fuck Ben and... So yeah, man, that was it for the video, man. Um, They be fucking blasting Death Battle's ass. I swear, they be on their ass every single damn battle has to do with a fucking, you know, a Dragon Ball Z character, not just any anime character. But yeah, um, totally accurate. Um... You know, I don't really have that much to say about this, man. Um, pretty much what I said in the video was what what I was thinking about in the death battle. Like, you know, like the Super Saiyan Blue feet. Like, I mean, shit. If they, if they was using it to like their full potential, fuck it. You know, go on right ahead, nigga. Fucking me in deep. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I love anime and comic books, but anime before comic books, nigga. Manga before comic books, my nigga. Real talk. But um, yeah. So. I, I can't really complain, but yeah, if, she, if, she, if Captain Marvel would have went binary, which I thought was gonna happen, she would have fucked her up. And then yeah, they gave her energy absorption, but you know, I was from the video game, so I was like, these niggas are stupid. But shit, thank you. <laughs> they giving her every chance possible. <laughs> Fuck you, e. but um, yeah, like bro, my nigga kid Goku dodging lightning and shit. Like that's twenty twenty two. Um. 2,020, 220, 220,000 miles per hour. So, shit, that nigga, that nigga is well over speed of light. Why, 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 why didn't they use that feat, Scroll Attack? Y'all be using all these other stupid ass feats, but you don't want to use the damn facts, bro. Real talk. Y'all niggas be pissing me off with that. But anyway, man, y'all guys can post your comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed this like if you didn't. Tell me what you guys thought about this, man. If you thought these niggas was right, which they were. What do you mean? This is fucking Chuck, the nigga named Chuck the Cyber Cook. Cyber Cook! And fucking, um... Set, set the, the, the program or the fuck, the, or whatever the fuck that nigga said. <laughs> but yeah, they be on Death Battle ass. Death Battle, y'all gonna need to get your facts a little, bit, a little more together. You feel me? Um... Like if you enjoyed this, like if you didn't subscribe, I upload every single day except for on Fridays. And I'm finna be out this bitch, Dragon Squad. Bitch! Signing off. Fuck the name. Buddy. Y'all. Hey! Super sick. I'm sorry. You won't store if I press a boy, huh? You won't piss if I squeeze a boy, huh?